I enjoy solving equations, so we're going to just go through and solve these. Um, we'll just do them my way. Remember, by balancing, we got to do one step at a time. My trick is I'm trying to get x alone, right? So I get rid of the stuff that's further from x. So right, x and 4 have a little more of an intimate relationship, so I'm just going to wait to tear them apart and get rid of this 5 first. So a lot of people don't know what you do first. Get rid of the adding and subtracting this part first, okay? Not this. This is going to be a little more work. They're closely knit, so get rid of this thing first, okay? So we're going to do this step first, and then we get 4x equals 12. Then we get rid of the the 4, okay? By dividing both sides by 4, we get x equals 3. And there we go. I, I enjoy these. Then I can check. Is 4 times 3 plus 5 equal to 17? Yes, I believe so. And that's true, so I know that I got the right answer. I love it when you can use your own head to know or your own strategy to, to know if something is correct or not before you it. So you don't even have to wait to get a test back. You're like, all right, I know, Miss, Mrs. DeShield is 100% because I checked all my answers, um, which works when they're all solving equation answers. All right, same deal. Deal with the five last. We're going to deal with the six first. Get rid of the six. That M wants to be alone soon. And I get two. So let's divide both sides by 5. And yes, you might find out this bugs you. What's 2 divided by 5? It doesn't matter. M equals 2 fifths. And you're done with solving. But can we check that? Yes. Checking is a great way for you guys to practice your fractions because fractions are never going to go away. Um, they're not irrelevant. They are still very relevant even though we are in the year 20. 15. Oops, forgot to add 6. And so I love this. Top and bottom, same thing, so they go away. True. Okay. Alright, so let's do this one. I can see why this one's more exciting. Again, deal with the 4 first. The 7 is more closely attached to the k, so we deal with that last. Okay, So we get negative 7k equals negative 17. Alright, now the negatives might bother you. They kind of bother me a little bit. Right, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. And all right, the reason I do negative 7 is because I really want this and this to cancel. I really want k to be alone. Okay. Those guys go away, leaving a positive, just a K. And now I have a negative over a negative, and nothing can reduce. So we're just going to leave it like that, but it turns two negatives. When you divide, you get, it's an even number of negatives, so you get a positive. And there we go. And then we can check negative 7 times 17 sevenths minus 4 equal negative 21. Yes, well, I already know these guys um, cancel out, but that's still negative. So the 7 canceled out, but you can even say negative 1. So that's negative 17 minus 4 is negative 21. True. Okay, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, or add negative 5, same deal. Negative 11p equals... 12. Okay, divide both sides by negative 11. Now I'm going to move that negative up because this is a negative answer. I'm just going to write negative 12 elevenths. That's my final answer. And let's go ahead and try it. And see if this works. Alright, so I've got a lot going on here. I see a negative. This is going to be a positive, right? And these cancel out, so it's going to be a positive 12, because I had two negatives and we're dealing with multiplication. Oops. Sorry. Equals 
And that is true. All right. A couple more. Oh, good. We got some fractions. I'm sure you were hoping for that. I know I was. Okay. Uh, nobody is a mixed number. That's nice. So everybody's just a fraction. And again, deal with the adding the one half first. Now we have one fifth m, which is the same as m over five. Remember that. Um, and then we've got to add these. Now I'm going to change one half into two fourths. Okay, so we have three fourths plus two fourths is five fourths. Okay, and then we are going to multiply both sides by five or five over one. Same deal. So we could have written it like that, right? And these guys cancel out, leaving the M. And this is 25 fourths. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and try one fifth. Oops. My brain is thinking one thing and my hand is writing another. One fifth times 25 fourths minus a half equal three fourths. All right, so let's see. That cancels out. So now we get five fourths minus one half. Let's put it into fourths. Minus two fourths equals three fourths. And true. So I'm very confident with my answer. The last one's decimals. Decimals just behave the exact same way. Um, I was trying to see if they give a trick. Um, maybe on the next lesson I'll show you your trick, my trick. But So we'll leave it like this today. There's a shortcut, obviously. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, when I write decimals I often leave the zero off. I hope that doesn't bother you. Um, so I'm adding, I'm still the x. The 0.4x, I'm waiting. Take care of this first. Okay, so here I'll write it. 0.04, or 0.4x. These guys go away, and it's a negative. So this might be tricky for you. First of all, nothing's lined up, is it? So let's really look at what's going on, though. This is a negative, and this is a positive. And which one's really bigger? To be careful. It's 0.2, so it's actually 0 0.20. And this is 0.16. So who is larger? This one, 20 is bigger than 16. So it's going to be a positive answer. And if you need to do the work to see what your answer is gonna be, we're actually subtracting, right? Because they're, diff they're, they're opposite signs, we're gonna actually subtract one from the other. Okay, when we do that, we get 0 0.04, if I put the, okay, so equals 0 0.04, that's how I like to write it. All right, then we still do what we do, and we divide both sides by 0 0.4. And we get, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the book too to see if they like to give any hints. Now, in the past, they've had shortcuts on how to divide 0.04 by 0.4. What if we multiply top and bottom by 100? We did this in the last book, but it's been a while. So if we multiply that by 100, we get 4 over 40, don't we? One, two, one, two. So we get four over 40. And now we reduce four fortieths, which is one tenth, right? Which is point 0.1. Let's say you didn't know what I just did there. Let's take point 0.04 and divide it by point 0.4 the other way. So this is like a review. Okay, we can't divide by a decimal so we got to move one over okay so if we move it over here we move it over here so now four goes into four one 
There we go. So we get 0.1. That's how we got this answer. Okay. Um, I'm not going to check this one just because I ran out of room on my page and I'm going to let you go ahead and do your uh, practice. Okay. Yours is fixed. Yours should say D. Mine does not. And go ahead and get started. And if you get stuck, come back. All right. Hopefully I have enough space here. And I'm going to add 3 tenths to both sides, so I get 2 fifths x. And then I'm going to change this one to tenths. And I get 5 tenths plus 3 tenths, and so I get 8 tenths. Okay. And then multiply by the reciprocal. And then I'm going to cross cancel here because I see that I can. I, that 2 goes into 8 4 times, 5 goes into itself once. So it looks like I have 4 halves, which is 2. And then I often, if I don't have room to check or don't I haven't been asked to check, I kind of put this back up here and see. If I put this up here, it looks like I would have 4 fifths minus 3 tenths. Well, 4 fifths is 8 tenths. 8 tenths minus 3 tenths, 5 tenths, which is a half. So I, I can still check in my head. And yes, I'm very confident with that answer. Okay, this one I'm going to get rid of a mixed number, so that's 9 fourths x. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract 3 sevenths from both sides. And hopefully I have room. 3 sevenths is the same as 6 fourteenths. Okay, so we get 9 fourths x equals, now 5 minus 6 is going to be a negative, so we're going to get a negative 1. 14. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that. And I get x equals going to be a negative. I'm going to, oops, yes, I'm going to um, cross cancel. And it looks like I get 2 60 thirds as my answer. That would be one I really want to go back and check. Because when I get numbers like this, I always think, uh, I'm, sh I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and show us how we check that, okay? So I've got 9 fourths times negative 2 60 thirds. Now I already can tell I'm in the good, on a good road when these two have, can cross, multi cross cancel. So now I'm feeling more confident about my answer. But I'm still going to play it out. All right, so 9 goes in itself once, goes in there 7. And then these guys, 2 goes in itself once, goes in there twice. So it looks like now I have negative 1 14th plus 3 sevenths equal 5 fourteenths. Okay, let's change 3 sevenths into fourteenths. All right, 7 goes into 14 twice, so 2 times 3 is 6. And let's see here. All right, it worked. So again, we should not get any wrong answers if you're checking. So this is, sorry, where to go? This is correct. All right, the next one. Um, again, it's different order, but it's the same. I've got to get rid of this first and leave that till later. So add 1.4 to both sides. Now this does line up, so that is good. And that's going to be 2.6. Okay. And then we're going to divide both sides by 20. Okay, now if you're comfortable, you could just do off on your scratch. 20 divided by 2.6. Is that what I'm doing? No, sorry. 2.6 divided by 20. It's hard when I can't. When I go from one page to another. I just ran out of room. Okay, so I put the decimal up above where it belongs. And 20 goes into itself once. So I'm going to add a zero here. And I get... Okay, 0.13. We're not done. We got 0.13. 
So, oh, we already done. 0.13 equals x. But let me check my work. I want to make sure um, this is the correct answer. So I'm going to go um, check it. Okay, so 20 times 0.13. Well, 20 times 13, here I'll leave it like this, 20 times 13 is 20, 260. 20 times 13 is 260. But we've got two decimals, so I'm going to get 2.6, really. So now, to finish it out, we're going to do 2.6 minus 1.4, and we get 1.2. So it's true. All right. And the last one, add, put, I like, I have a way to fix this later on where you don't have all these decimals and it will avoid some problems. I think we get to talk about it, I don't know, in the, the next lesson, I hope, because I don't like doing them this way. All right, so we get 0.7x equals, all right, we are adding 0.4, so it looks like that would be 0.56 divide both sides by 0.7 and that's the same as 56 divided by 70 and but we're gonna get a decimal answer so I'm just gonna keep trying to find shortcuts for you guys I'll just we'll just do it on this paper so that you avoid mistakes, I avoid mistakes. All right, so the decimal moves over, so we get 5.6 divided by 7. 7 goes into 56 8 times, so we get 0.8. Okay, so x equals 0.8. And let's go ahead and check that. I'm looking for another scratch paper I haven't used yet. times 0.8 minus 0.4 equal 0.16. All right, let's see. 7, 0.7 times 0.8 is 0.56 minus 0.4. Does that equal 0.16? Well, that's 0 0.40, okay? And that helps to look at it that way. So yes, 0.16 equals 0.16. True, we got the right answer. All right, that's it for that. Hopefully you're understanding these, and they're actually kind of fun. They keep following the same steps, so have fun, for real.